Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Michelle and today I have a pretty cool video in my opinion. Usually these tips I'm about to share with you are exclusively only for my clients after they book with me and I put it in their welcome packet. But it's spring, it's gorgeous, and I love you guys so I'm feeling generous so hopefully you enjoy this video. So I'm going to be sharing with you some hair and skincare tips on how to prepare for a photo shoot. So even before I do, I would say I have an awesome professional makeup and hair artist that I work with that will make you, no matter what, look amazing. But there are a few things that you need to do prep-wise just to make sure everything is perfect. So the first thing before a photo shoot is, and then this is assuming you will be working with the hair and makeup artist when you come, is to bring pictures. Bring pictures of hairstyles or eye looks or stuff that you love. And it's always nice to have that visual to share with each other and share with your makeup artist. Let you guys be on the same page. Two is cleansing your face. So the week beforehand, um, I recommend exfoliating once or twice for that week, but don't use something really harsh, just enough to get some of the dead patches off so your foundation will go on nice and evenly. Um, but I want to scrub every day because you don't want to irritate your skin. So I'd say two times the week before your photo shoot. And then in between those days, use a really gentle cleanser. Two cleansers that I love that are soft, they won't make your skin irritated, um, and there's not like all that so salicylic acid in it, whatever that's called. <laughs> um, one is from the Philosophy line, and this is called Purity. This is just a travel size, but it is amazing. It's a little bit more on the expensive end, but your skin will love you for it. And the other one is called from the Pure line, P-U-R-R. And obviously I love it because it's almost gone. But I use this and it's a really gentle cleanser. There's no scrubs in it, but it really gets down deep and cleanses out all the extra makeup that we think that we get off, but we don't really get off. Which brings me to my third tip and that's to moisturize. So the moisturizer that I swear by that doesn't, because some of those cheap drugstore moisturizers, trust me, I've tried them all, they can really irritate your skin and I've always had acne prone skin and so I used to go for the oil free stuff but I found out quickly, well not quickly, actually just this last year I've really researched skin care and the stuff that's in that is so harsh and if you are prone to be oily you don't want to always go the oily free and just keep stripping your skin of oil because you're skin gets tricked and thinks it needs to produce more oil so your skin is actually going to go on the fritz. So moisturize it by, this is also from the Pure Line and it is a little bit pricey but I love it. It comes in, I think the packaging is really cute. It's um, a clear glass tub. Mine's almost gone too but um, you don't need very much because uh, it doesn't even smell that bad because some moisturizers and face washes can smell awful. So this is the Pure, I think it is like 30 bucks, but it does last you quite a while, like I said. And I'll use this multiple times a day, usually at least once in the morning after I wash my face, and then once at night. And then also with that is to drink lots of water. I know it probably doesn't seem like it makes a difference or you can't tell, but trust me, when you are hydrated, your skin, you can tell the difference in your skin. Next tip along those lines is to exfoliate your lips. I think we forget about our lips often, especially if you don't wear lipsticks a lot and just do the chapstick. Chapsticks are great, but sometimes your skin, it's, it is skin on top of your lips, needs a good exfoliation too. And a lip scrub that I swear by, it's uh, from the, well, oh, I say that now, I think it's called Sugar, the Sugar Lip Scrub. This is Fabu Lips, and it smells really good too. And it's just like a, it's just a scrub, you take it on and then you just scrub it on your lips for like a minute and then you just wash it off with warm water and then apply a chapstick or even Vaseline overnight. Really good hydrator for your lips. And I would do that every night the week before your photo shoot. Waxing, okay this is a big one. It's just like a big haircut before a wedding day or something. Do not get your eyebrows waxed any time near the future, any days prior, maybe not even a week prior to your photo shoot because waxing tends to be really harsh on the skin. It can cause um, puffiness, swell, swellness, redness. Um, it can even cause scabbing or scarring if it's not done well and it only takes one time and then to ruin your brows. And even if you swear by your brow artist, I would just stick with plucking to be on the safe side um, a week to two weeks even prior to your photo shoot. Another tip is what to wear when you go to your photo shoot. Um, for the just the hair and makeup part, if you are working with a professional hair and makeup artist, do not forget to wear a button down shirt or a really wide open neck because nothing's worse than doing hours of work on your hair and makeup and then trying to get that off and then ruining it and having to go retouch it and all that stuff afterwards. So make sure to wear loose fitting clothes 
preferably a button down shirt so you can just take it off and put on the clothes you're actually gonna wear for the photo shoot. Next tip is to say no to fake and bake. <laughs> say no to the bed, say no to crazy spray tans. So as a photographer, I recommend if you are gonna do a tanner, because I understand wanting to be tanned for your photos, obviously, is to one, either go to a professional and get it spray tan by hand I have if you're in Idaho and you want to do a photo shoot with me I do have an amazing girl that gives an awesome discount for my clients that will go and then um, spray you or the second thing that I personally use for a self tanner and it's like the like heaven sent it's like one of the best things ever it is and it's a knockoff super cheap I cannot say it it's an instant self tanning mousse basically and it's St. Marie's I don't know, more is, what, however you say it, but it's basically a knockoff from the Saint, or Saint Tropez, Tropez. I cannot talk today. Obviously, I'm a super smart beauty guru, but these things are awesome. I got this at Ulta. You can get it at any like beauty salon, Sephora, or whatever. It was like 13 bucks, and get the foam, and then you want one of those mitts, and uh, what you do is first you want to shower. So you want to shower, exfoliate, one of the my favorite body scrubs. This smells amazing. It's Shea Sugar Scrub Tree Hut. So I'll use this scrub all over my body and then do all the shaving, do everything you need to do, get out of the shower, and then moisturize. So put a lotion on, and then you're gonna put this on. So if you wanna shake it up real good, do a couple pumps on your mitt. Everywhere where you want to be tan, obviously you're gonna put some on. Let it dry, and they recommend six to eight hours. Usually I just go to sleep with it. After it dries, I just go to sleep, and the next morning I just rinse it off. One thing about this is it does it's an instant bronzer so when you put it on it'll look really dark. Don't get scared, it's just the guide color. So it's going to be darker than it actually is going to turn out. But hands down, this is the best self tanner I've ever used. The most even, doesn't smell bad. Um yeah, flawless application. It's most of that I'm like, yeah, right, they're just lying, but seriously, it's like flawless. For hair, I mean, I would still consult your uh, makeup artist. Everyone's a little bit different in your photographer, but for m what we do anyway, and I highly recommend that, is having your hair washed um, the day before and just come all natural. So if you have natural curls, leave the natural curls. Do not use products, do not straighten it, do not put anything in there. Um, if you have straight hair, just leave it straight. So you wanna come in with slightly dirty hair, not too dirty, so just, just day old at max and you want it just no product in it, very natural, and then they'll work with it and make you beautimous. And as far as washing, obviously there's no special trick to that, wash your hair like normal, but I do have a brand, sorry I am blonde, so this is for blondes, but I'm sure they have it for brunettes too. I love this stuff. It's Paul Mitchell's Blonde, it smells so good. Again, a little pricier product, most of the time I just use Herbal Essence, and so I only use this maybe like once a week, it's like my treat shampoo. It has like a lightning effect to it, so you don't want to use it too much because it literally is purple when you when you pump it out and stuff. So it can like tint your hair purple is what she said. You just have to be careful. Ooh, I need to clean it. And my last tip is to get plenty of sleep. If you want to treat yourself, which I think you should because if you're doing a photo shoot, that means it's probably a special occasion. So get a beauty mask. <laughs> These are really cool. Um, you can get them online, you can get them at Walmart, I mean, you can get them anywhere, but you put them in, like this one, You it's all gel, so you put it in the fridge the night before, and that has Velcro, so you just put it on, you look like a dork, but no one's gonna, well, you know, if there is someone that's gonna see you like this, they're probably already pretty close to you and have seen it all, <laughs> so you put that on overnight, it's nice and cold, and that helps depuff any, um, depuff your eyes, but if all else fails, just get some good rest and have fun that day. That's what it's for, to get pampered and to get amazing images. But these are just tips and tricks that I recommend to just making you feel the best, have the most confidence, have the makeup apply evenly, um, and have beautiful skin and hair for your photo shoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.